Hey everybody, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Welcome back to part two of the experimental um, EVP part jet build. In this video, we're going to get down to putting all the pieces and parts together that we cut out last week. And we're going to be putting some of the um, Henry style weave on the plane, the fiberglass weave, to make it stronger. And um, just doing the basic assembly of the plane. So let's get on to the video and see how it goes. Okay, since the last video, I already went ahead and um, took all the pieces and I started cutting all the beveled edges. Um, to do this, I first used the Styro Wonder Cutter here. It's a hot wire cutter, handheld. Um, I went around the edges of each piece and kind of did a rough cut of the edges that need to be beveled. And then I went back later after that cut and I either used the sanding block here or this rasp to remove and smooth the final edges of each piece. Okay, next I'll be applying this uh, fiberglass weave to the plane on the main wing portion. I'll be cutting out pieces and overlaying it on EPP foam, and then I'll be securing it to the plane with this 3M high strength number 90 spray adhesive. This will make the plane a lot stronger and more durable and crash resistant. Okay, I've got the fiberglass weave pretty much laid out and uh, glued to the main wing portion of the plane. So next I'll be moving on to the fuselage top and bottom piece and securing those to the plane and I'll also be cutting the battery slot into the fuselage. Okay, I've got the battery slot now cut into the fuselage so the fuselage pieces are now ready to glue together and uh, start the final assembly of the plane. Okay, now I'm attaching the top piece of the fuselage to the main wing portion. I put some adhesive on in between the two layers and now I've just got a 35 pound weight on top to make sure it's compressed and sealed on there good as the glue dries. Okay, the top and bottom fuselage pieces are now glued to the main wing portion of the plane. And next I was going to be going over, we're going to be putting a modified version of the KF airfoil on this plane. Um, it's kind of an experimental thought since this is a forward swept wing. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but uh, I'm going to try it out. So those are going on next and then we'll move on to the other portions of building the plane. Okay, next up I'm going to be working on putting the elevons on. Um, I cut in out some notches into the main wing here where the elevons are going to mount into. And I made the elevons out of 8th inch balsa wood uh, to make them nice and durable but still light. So those will be taped on using the over and under taping method that we typically use for control surfaces. And that should make them nice and secure. Okay, I've got the elevons now attached to the plane using the under and over taping method, tape hinge method. Uh, so that pretty much finishes up the basic construction of the plane. So I'll probably uh, end off the video here today and the next video we'll get into the electronics and the final taping of the plane and hopefully the maiden flights. Okay, well that pretty much finishes up the uh, construction part of the video this week. I think it's going pretty good. The plane's fitting together fairly well and I'm pretty happy with the way the build's going. Um, it's still kind of an experimental plane, so I'm not totally sure how it's going to fly once we do get it together. But I guess we'll just proceed and see how it goes and uh, do the main flights once we get it all together. So thanks again for joining this week's video, and I'll see you next week where we uh, get on to the electronics of this plane. Hey everybody, this is Paul again. Um, I just want to throw out a little note again to everybody and invite you all to um, sign up and subscribe and to join our free drawing that we have this month. We're going to be giving away a free motor and an ESC and some other parts. So um, won't hurt. Throw your name in the drawing. Who knows? You might just might win. And also, I just really like to say thanks to everybody who already has um, entered their entry into the drawing. And I was really um, happy and actually humbled by a lot of the responses we got. A lot of you actually uh, personalized the note and actually left uh, very positive comments to us about our videos and about our channel. So we're very thankful for that, and it's very inspiring. And hopefully, we're heading in the right direction with this channel. Um, I want to make it a good, fun place for all of us to share our information about RC planes and uh, hopefully we can grow this into a good community of friends and uh, fellow scratch builders. So thanks again and please remember to sign up for the uh, free drawing. Good luck to everybody.